Welcome back, everybody. It's Rudy with Alpha Investments. Today, we're going to open one of the most powerful, legendary, overly just ridiculous eras of Magic the Gathering that I cannot believe research and development actually approved. It is by far one of the most ridiculous power levels that Beta Investments signed off on in the history of Magic. I mean, that guy's face represents the absolute absurdity of the power level of this set. I hope you guys are ready for a fun experience. And to remember what happens when people just go in the deep end. I just want you all to remember this. You will never... It, it, I can't even explain it. <laughs> yep. We're going to go for it. So it's been a very, actually, you know, I don't think we've ever actually opened Fifth Dawn on this channel before. This video, uh, this box was actually purchased by my patron, Chad. He runs his own box opening channel called the M Magic Chad? No, I'm kidding. Magic Ronin. And uh, you can look at him and uh, see his box openings on his channel, and we're going to see if we get lucky for him. What year was this? Um... 1 in 70. Isn't it funny how they change how many, uh, the ratio of the foil cards, how they adjusted over the year? It's, it's kind of interesting. All right, 2004. We're going in, everybody. No turning back. That's what she said. And we're just going to see what happens. Oh, man. To refresh everyone's memories, for those of you not playing Magic the Gathering 14 years ago, there are no mythics in this set. Mythic rare was not a thing. It was not about the money back then, as much as it is about today. Wow! Look at those packs! Look at the blue! Look at that hairy hand, what a creep. So, I hope you guys are excited. Godly, that's so cool looking. And remember, this is Artifact Colorless Central. That is what makes this so absolutely amazing. And the fact you have no Mythics, and remember, the foil rares and the foil hits in this set are astronomically expensive. You have Serum Visions at common. You have a ton of $1 to $3 uncommons. And I don't know, 15 rares at $10 and above or something. It's something absolutely absurd. So if you're in a hurry, I'm not going to go fast in this video because it's not something we get to do very often. Look at these artwork. Oh my god. All right. We got to actually look at everything to see. Early Frost. All right. Bat Enchant. Okay. So we're going to go right to the uncommons. Holy smokes. Lore Bearers. Vanquish. Grinding Station. We got an uncommon hit already. Fantastic uncommon. Anybody remember that card? Probably not. And our Salvaging Station. God, I love these old cards. Oh, we got a foil. Look at that. First pack. Foil Mana Geyser. Oh, wait, wait. It's got a slight curl to it. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a slight pringling to it. Not very much. Can you actually can you actually curl that back? It's very weak. Let me see. Yeah, that's very, very slight curling. And mana geysers are for so first pack, amazing got a probably a dollar or two foil uh, common. We got a grinding station and a decent rare. That is amazing. Cranial plating, I remember that from Modern Masters. Ogre! Ah, the Myers. The Scouts. Look at that scout. Lurker. Oh my god, look at that guy. Let me see in Terminator, non-foil version, and that is my brain. And the Mastermind, here we go. Mastermind, Relic Barrier, look at that. Who remembers that card, anybody? Oh my god. Okay, now we'll stop here for a second. Did you guys notice uh, we only had two uncommons? Remember in the old sets, that means we're going to get a foil uncommon. So if you're short a card, they move it to the back of the pack and give you a foil. So we do have the Razormain Masticore, a new version of the Masticore from the Urza's block, and a Foil Drake. God, look at that foiling. Holy crap. Okay, so Foil City, am I right? I know people love these vintage box opening type packs. These things are just something else. And yes, these boxes are not cheap. Holy smokes. Reign of Rush, look at that mire. Explore. Whoa, what is that? Is there like one leg there? That's Stasis Cocoon, Spark Elemental, Courage, Into the Thin Air, and here we go. Look at that Razor Grass, look at that wall. All right, and we've got Salvagers, Centurion, Eyes of the Watcher, and a, oh, look at that, oh my god, it's like hit after hit in these boxes. 
Beacon of Tomorrows. Fantastic rare, everybody. I feel like almost every pack has hits in it. You guys notice that? Like, you either get good commons, like a couple dollar uncommon, or there's always a good rare. Alright, we have not seen any, um, oh, bobble. Serum Visions! I was just going to say, we have not seen Serum Visions. Three dollar common already. I'm kind of curious how many we get. Look at that prism, how cool is that? Alright, Crocodile. God, Lily, who drew that? Who did... Jim Nell, look at that! Holy smokes! Meyer, Helion, Clock of Omens, great uncommon. Lore Bearers, great uncommon. And the Shackles, another cool rare. God, Artifact Central. Who loves the Artifact? So, I don't think we've even had a bad pack yet. I honestly, I mean, I x rayed the box ahead of time to make sure there was no $100 foil rares. But other than that, I mean, this is ridiculously amazing. Alright, Sawtooth, Scout, Lurker again, Managaiza, uh, Rudy's Big Head, Gaty, and Collar. Alright, here we go. Mastermind. <laughs> Look at that goblin cannon. <laughs> uh, whoa! I don't even think she's approvable in 2018 Magic. Shattered Dreams. Said every guy and their ex-girlfriend. Shattered Dreams. With a summoning station. Another cool artifact. Pumping out those colorless pinchers. Don't you love that? Colorless pinchers. Oh my god, these are great. Oh my god, these are great. Holy crap. Losing hope. The Prowler. Whoa. Heliophile? Sorcerer? God, Lee, these would not be approvable art right now. Trinket Mage. I love that detail. How cool is that detail? Look at that suit! Look at that stealth suit! Oh my god, I don't even remember that artwork. Mana Geyser again. Another screen. Rudy's Big Head. Called me that in middle school. And, alright, Disruption Aura. We got the coil. Wow, look at those coils. And, oh, we got another foil uncommon. This art would not be approvable in 2018, everybody. Joiner Adept. Look at that elf druid, everybody. Turn all your lands to any mana. And a foil. Holy crap. Spinal Parasite. Look at that foil. A sunburst was so overpowered. How many times in your life have you seen a card with a negative 1-1 one, one as the actual printed power and toughness? How many times have you even seen that in your life? Exactly. Exactly. Lose Hope, the Mire, Clan Ogre, Ferocious Charge, the Manta, Stand Firm, Betrayal, Mire again. All right, here we go. Dawn's Reflection. Oh, wait. Another bobble. I didn't even know there was a second bobble in here. All right, Creepy Engineers, the Path Cutter. God, look at that. Look at that equipment. And Sold Scimitar. And an Artificer's Intuition. Look at that. I wish I had four arms. You know what I could get done in a day if I had four arms? Nothing. Nothing is what I would get done in a day with four arms. All right. Tyranax, Squire, Bobble again. It's another Serum Visions. Swing in a second Serum Visions. Creeper again. Prism again. God, the artwork is so detailed on these things. It's incredible. Holy smokes. Just, uh, just... I know there's people out there that have to agree with me. That artwork is just in, just so detailed, man. All right. Swart. Oh, my God. I forgot. Paradise Mantle is in this set. The original printing of Paradise Mantle. My camera's even getting off to it. God. She turned me down in high school. I know. Clearwater Goblet. Look at that sunburst again. Yeah, if you guys are in a hurry for a box opening, I am not even going to rush this. How often do you get to see a Fifth Dawn flipping expensive box? A third Serum Visions coming out swinging. And Golem. Reign of Rust, Tingle Ass, Mire, Fury, Bobble. Here we go. You ready? Stand firm. All right. Didn't they just reprint the, the Beast guy? All right. Arcbound Wanderer. Ah! Aww. Or the Windwalker, not one of the big hits. But again, you already got a $3 Serum Visions and a couple dollars in Uncommons. It's amazing how every pack maintains some sort of value. Thought Carrier, The Caller, Response, Navigator, Phil. All right, Plasma Elemental, War Gear, oh, Shattered Dreams. Well, we've all been there. Throwing down the Beacon of Destruction. Eh, all right, we're swinging and missing. Not, not a major hit. I don't think so. 
I don't remember that particular beacon. I know there's a, like the other beacon, was it blue or white? I don't think the red beacon is really a, considered a hit though. Advanced hover guard, the headdress. Reign of Rust, Mire, Explorer, Betrayal. Oh my god, what is going on with that? Who approved that artwork? Good lord. Elemental, Baton of Courage. All right, Channel of the Suns. Look at that channel. Oh my god. Four mana at every color to your mana pool. <laughs> All right, Energy Chamber. Oh, Silent Arbiter. That was Conspiracy 1 reprint. And we've got an Uncommon foil since we missed an Uncommon. Holy smoke. Eyes of the Watcher, Uncommon foil. Godly. Don't make them like that anymore, ladies and gents. They don't make them like that anymore, everybody. All right, Hover Guard, Headdress, Rain, Mire, Chant, Prism, Crocodile. Ridiculously detailed, Mire. All right, Energy Chamber, Salvagers, Gemstick. Godly. That's so cool. Put a charge account to remove it. And, oh my god. Alright, and another foil. Solari, another... God, the sunburst is so neat. Uh, by the way, box art, everybody. Those of you who don't remember. Box art. And we got the foil. Common of the early frost. The foiling is just so different back then. Man, the foiling. So we're only... Um, I think we're approaching halfway through the box. I mean, we're not... I think we're... Not even halfway yet. All right. Serum Vision swing in number four, I think. Play set of Serum. Look at that. Okay. Infused Arrows. Engineers. Path Cutter. And what is that guy? Bringer of the Black Dawn. Look at that guy. I love how everything is like you can pay all the colors. I love the theme. Don't you just love that theme, how they did that? It's got to be the coolest theme, man. All right, Reign of Rust, Mire, Explorer, Cocoon, Courage, Thin Air, the Razor Grass, Stand Firm, Betrayal. All right, here we go, everybody. You ready? The Drake, Barrier, Theft, Endless, I keep forgetting there's no Mythics, Endless Whispers. Eh. There are so many artifact rare hits in this set. I don't even remember how big this set was. Is this, I think it's a small set. Another bobble. God, another ser five serum visions. Holy smokes. This is where people in the comments are going to be like, see, back in the day, they didn't adjust the more powerful comments. They didn't care back then. I know that there's going to be kind of grinding station again. And, and, oh my God. Screen door on a submarine. Oh my God. I think this is almost $100 now. We just swung like a 90 something dollar gem mint ex engineered explosives. Holy crap. Best card in the set, everybody. Congratulations, Chad. Swinging a hit. I should have x rayed the box, but you know what? Screw it. I'm going to delete the video and I'm pocketing it now. There's just no way. Oh my God. What an amazing serum visions and an engineered explosive. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man. Priceless moments on beta investments. Wholly owned the subsidiary of FOMO Investments. What a moment, everybody. The Beast, the Totem, Devour, Fist of the Suns. Yeah, Fist and those Suns. Another great, I think it's five to eight bucks or something. Another good rare. Oh my god, we hit the engineered explosives, everybody. We hit it. I think, I'm sure if you go online, hit Pack Fresh Mint one, it's got to be 90 to 100 bucks by now. Holy crap, that was amazing. I don't even remember the last time somebody got an original engineered explosives mint on camera. All right, the rats, infused arrows, feedback bolts, and the golem. God, look at that dude. 11 colorless for the 4 5. Affinity to the artifacts. But look at that ability. Artifact creature spells you have affinity for art. Wow. Everything gets affinity for artifacts. Such a cool theme, man. The flavor of this stuff is just out of control, dude. They don't make the creativity like this anymore, everybody. It's all about playing it safe. Look at that. <laughs> I got your money. Dawn's Reflection, the Bobble, Elemental, Into the Thin Air. Here we go. We got the Stall of What? Oh, my ex-girlfriend's back just to taunt me. All right, Mastermind and a Beacon of Unrest. Another good... God, boy. I think we've gotten packs with more good hits than we have actually packs without good hits. Like, holy smokes, the expected value of this box. 
is got to be outrageous at this point. We're halfway through the box, and expected value's got to be in probably at least 200-something. And we are looking at... What is this guy? I don't even remember this dude. Desecration Elemental? Fear? Whenever you play Hershey's Field Four mana for an eight. <laughs> and a foil common lose hope. Lose hope. Lose hope. Look, godly. I can see where somebody drew that. Whew, it takes your breath away. And if it doesn't, you obviously don't appreciate some things in this world that you should be. Life's too short to not appreciate this stuff, everybody. Ah, I wish I looked like that. All right. God, I wish I looked like that. A six. Oh, my God. Six Serum Visions. Oh, my God. Absolutely outrageous. All right, everybody. Furnace Whelp, the Cannon, Channel in the Suns, and the Vampire. I didn't even know there were vampires in this set. Huh. Well, look at them apples. Yeah, we only passed the halfway mark in this video. And we've got six Serum Visions in, like, the most expensive card in the set. A bunch of one $2 uncommons. This is outrageous. And this is why people freak out over the old stuff. Because it is so different. Look at that. Is everybody fighting over that totem? Ah, the Helm of Kaldra. That's cool. That was a cool card. I actually remember that. Remember, remember this card? Equip Creature has, like, everything. First Strike, Trample Haste. Anybody remember that? All right, here we go. Okay, Salvager. I feel like this must be a small set array. The Mastermind, and we've got Hover God sweep us. Eight. God, look at the cost of these cards. Sixes and eights and elevens. The casting cost of these things are massive. See, I kind of like that. I kind of like the higher casting cost cards where it's like a slower, longer game. And everybody's just doing these white, weenie, rush, crazy, burn, burn, burn type decks. I, I like the larger cast. Where it's, a, it's a more thought out chessboard of a game. I kind of like that. Uh, I got nothing to say at this point. And Roar of Reclamation. Another seven drop sorcery. Goodness gracious. Return all artifacts from your graveyard to play. Good. I feel like I just need a millstone myself, put like 40 of my cards in my graveyard, and just return like 40 artifacts and play at once. How amazing would that be? Seriously. That would be an amazing moment. Alright, and we're going right to the goodies, everybody. We're going to bring everyone to the yard. Idle Vandals! The Green Dawn. God, look at these. There's all these little diamond colorless sunburst type stuff. How cool is that? Well, final stack of 12 packs. I hope you guys are enjoying this very unique experience with me. We can all thank my patron Chad for making this possible. You can even uh, check out his, click on the link and you can view one of his, what, he only has a couple of videos on his channel where he opened a box and said, hey Chad, thanks for sharing that fifth dawn box opening. Super fun times. Clock of Omens, who remembers that? And the Cosmic Larva. Look at this card. A three drop for a seven six trample. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice unless you kill two of your lands a turn. Oh wait, is this the set with Crucible of Worlds in it? That would make sense. Holy, I mean, if I knew how to play Magic the Gathering, that would be what I would, that's, that would be, never mind. It's raining today, everybody. There's a hurricane, who cares? Okay, Bobble, Frost, stand firm with your collar. All right, here we go. People are fighting over the totem. God, look at that shadow artwork. Holy smokes, how long did that take somebody? Oh, I found one of those inside of me once. All right, ready? Magma Giant. Seven drop again. Goodness. <laughs> These massive casting costs, everybody. Oh, so awesome. So oh, there she is. Look at her sticking her head in the air. Yes, number seven on the Serum Vision. We just got like $20 worth of Serum Visions cards alone in the common slot. Oh, that's how I feel right now, that lurker. Monogizer. Centipede. Here we go. Here we go, everybody. Feedback Bolt. Great card. Etched Oracle. All right. Oh, we got a foil uncommon. The Golden Cub Cat Legend. Another seven drop with a foil mire. Look at that. That is super cool. I just realized we have not gotten a foil rare, have we, everybody? We are 20 minutes in, and the foil rare is still at large. I mean, hopefully we get one. Okay, everyone. We're going for the foil rare, everyone. That's what's left. Scimitar, Stalwart. 
Ah, stupid ex-girlfriend never leaves your head. Zero drop. Of course you'd be a zero drop. And we've got... Holy smokes, who are you? Boy, you can tell this is a different era of artwork and culture for magic and nerds and... Godly. You know, sometimes you just you open an old box and it really does make you a little depressed on how far and how much things have changed in Magic the Gathering. God, look how you can see where somebody drew that. You know, it, it sometimes it almost makes me sad when I see some of these cards and the beautiful women in the cards. When I see the details of the artifacts, the hand-drawn nature, just so... I mean, look how detailed that zombie is, man. All right, ready? Here we go. Beacon. Oh, we got the foil rare. I was like, we already got a beacon of destruction. Well, that's our foil rare. Not the beacon we wanted. Well, we got the foil rare. At least we got one. Not going to be a home run foil rare, everybody. Sorry, Chad. You're going to have to live with your $100 uh, engineered explosives. Am I right? Am I right? Oh, my God. I could just open these boxes all day. Ah, oh, Helion, Clog of Omens, Blink, Moth, Infusion. We still, there's still actually a lot of really good cards in the set that we have not even gotten. And even though we've gotten a lot of good cards, we've gotten a ton of another bobble. We've gotten a ton of good stuff. There's still like a, a stack energy chamber, cool card. And Gemstone again. And the Portal. Oh my god, I remember this card. Eight drop again, everybody. Look at that. If a player would draw a card, a player skips that draw. And of each turn, each player sacrifices a permanent unless he or she discards a card from her hand. Holy smokes. What a weird-ass effect. Creativity, my friends. Creativity went into these old sets. They didn't take the safe route. They trinketed with things. They tried new things. They took risks on the artwork, the mechanics. That's what I respected. Oh, my God. Look at that path cutter. Look at that golem. Oh, my God. Here we go. Cruise. Oh, my God. There's the original... First printing Crucible! Wow! What a fucking box! What a box, Chad! What a box! I mean, I can actually say anything at this point, because, you know, I'm just going to delete the video and pocket this. We're going to refilm this, everybody, so I can just say balls, you know, giggity beta investments. Doesn't matter at this point. Holy crap! Holy crap! And Bringer of the Red Dawn. Didn't we already get Bringer of the Red Dawn? I thought we did. Anyways... Back to reality. We're down to the last three packs, everybody. Um, looks like we're going to stop at seven. I don't see... Are we going to get an eighth? Serum Visions doesn't look like it. Ah! And, oh my god, what the... We got the Foil Creeper Rudy. Look at those eyes. Holy smokes. Talk about futuristic, like, cyberpunk... Me oh, mechanical awesomeness. Ah. Oh. I'm not sure if I'm enjoying this. I, I can picture Chad right now, everybody, just yelling at the camera like, Yeah! Fuck yeah, look at this shit! Crucible! Woo! Engineered explosives! Serum visions all over my face! That's like, that's what I feel. That's what I feel. I'm seriously, guys. I'm a professional. Well, if I was a professional, I don't think she would have left me. Alright. Ah! Oh, that's how I feel. Here we go. And the Eon. Okay, we got the hub. <laughs> I love this. Players skip their upkeep step. Are you effing kidding me? Like... Magic would never print cards like this anymore. The ability for abuse and weird crap to happen on a card like that is just out of control. Oh my god, a hot chick. Eight. Do we get eight? Is this eight Serum Visions? Holy smokes. Best box opening ever. By far. Last pack, everybody. Then we're going to put that big head away. Oh, I forgot Eternal Witness was in this set. Oh my god, of course Eternal Witness is in this set. Of course it is. Look at the effing artwork. Look at the power level. Of course it's in this set. God, Lee. The women in these sets. Holy crap. That, that's, that's a COP artifact? God. I am definitely plunged into darkness. Is that it? Oh, God. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you, Chad, for making this possible. Everybody thank Chad. Go over to his channel and say, dude, thank Chad. Uh, hands out, balls out. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. If you enjoy this video... I don't care. Just have a great day. Do something happy with your life. Otherwise, you're going to have regrets.